I'm just going to take a minute here and talk about humidifying a guitar. You know, some of you may have very inexpensive guitars and uh, some have very expensive. I, for example, have a Taylor 616 that is worth, you know, a couple of thousand dollars. But I also keep just as my beater guitar hanging up on the wall, this old Fender. I've had this thing for many, many years. I never even took the uh, pick guard cover off, but this thing's like 20 years old. And it just hangs on the wall, and I grab it and kind of strum it watching TV. It doesn't mean that this guitar doesn't need some humidification as well. As a matter of fact, being out of the case is one of the worst things you can do during the winter months. But, you know, I didn't want to spend huge money on a cheapy guitar uh, for uh, humidification. So I went on eBay, and I bought this little cheapy here. This was, uh, if you go onto eBay and you click on the left side for free shipping, these come out of China for about uh, two bucks. They're obviously a copy of the Planet Waves type uh, you know, uh, humidifiers for guitar. And basically, you know, we've seen them. You basically drop, you, you, you wet this through the hole up in the top here and you drop it down in between the strings like so and it hangs inside like that. Now normally being in the case, this humidity would stay within the case and help keep the guitar from drying out. Now the way I usually do this is I, I'll come over here. I buy some distilled water and I basically take this and throw it in a cup. I throw a little weight on top, you know, like so. And I'll let it sit there for, you know, in that water, that distilled water for, uh, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, get it nice and wet inside. There's a sponge inside there. And I then take it out. It's hard to hard to uh, do both here. I then grab a towel and dry this off the best that I can. You don't want it wet. The idea is not to wet the inside of your guitar. The idea is to keep the dampness in the air, not touching any of the wood. So now it's completely dry. It's uh, I know the inside foam inside there is is nice and damp. And I basically slide this down in between, and that's supposed to be it. Well, that's okay, and that'll work. But I found I forgot to do this, to, uh, humidify this guitar this year, and it got a little dry. You can tell because the top of this and the back is supposed to be slightly curved and rounded, but this was starting to flat, getting very flat. Some of them actually go concave. Same with the back. So this was just starting to flatten out. So I wanted to kind of speed up the process and not put it in the case. So what I decided to do was I took the lid from a Maxwell House coffee. Uh, this is just one of those plastic lids, just like so. And what I do is I actually put the, this in between the first string, between the first string and the last string, like so. Slide it across. Like so. Now, some people say, are you kidding me? That's going to scratch. It's not even touching this body. I keep it up. It's a very soft plastic. Uh, yes, the strings uh, will need retuning after. But the idea here was I wanted this moisture to stay in the guitar while I had it still up on the um, wall hanger. So I just did that. You can see down inside here that there's air space. So it's not completely trapping the moisture. You don't want to completely trap the air from escaping. Uh, if you started seeing water droplets on the inside of this, that would obviously be too much moisture. What I wanted to do was retain some of the moisture from that cheapy uh, uh, humidifier without the water escaping too quickly. So I put this ring over the top, this coffee can lid, and that there, the, the humidifier is in there. This reduces the speed in which the moisture comes out of the body. So I find now I get an extra couple of days uh, with that humidifier. I put that back in water about once a week just to make sure, depending on how much the furnace is running in the house. And I find within, when I had the, the flattening on the top of this body, by putting this ring within a two days, I actually had this body coming back to where it should be. Anyway, that's the cheapy, $1.99, approximately two bucks on eBay for that humidifier from China and a free coffee lid. So give it a shot and uh, good luck.